In a nutshell, landscape lighting transformers bring line voltage down to a lower voltage. For context, voltage is like electrical pressure akin to water pressure in an irrigation system, so why would we want to lower it? The main reason is that lower voltage is significantly safer and easier to work with. Simply put, if low voltage is a gardening hose, line voltage is a pressure washer, and we're working with gardens here. For this reason, the strong majority of landscape light fixtures are designed to run at low voltage. Landscape lighting transformers bring standard voltage down to this level. Under the hood, transformers accomplish this with lots of loop-de-loops of wire. Electricity flowing through a loop of wire generates a perpendicular magnetic force. Conversely, a magnetic force perpendicular to a loop of wire generates electrical flow through it. The trick is putting more loops on one side than the other. The ratio of the number of loops on the input or primary side of the transformer to the number of loops on the output or secondary side of the transformer is the ratio that the voltage steps down. In North America, line voltage, the standard voltage used by wall outlets in a residential setting, is 120 volts. So, a landscape lighting transformer with 10 times as many wire loops on the input side than the output side will output 12 volts, the voltage at which most landscape light fixtures are designed to operate. But it's never that easy. Some of this output voltage is lost to voltage drop along the wire run from your transformer to your fixtures. To compensate for this, many transformers have multiple output taps that you can choose from at 13, 14, 15 volts, and so on. This way, after the voltage drop along the wire, the light fixtures still receive 12 volts. Now, electricity needs a complete circuit to flow. This means you need one wire to deliver the voltage to the light fixture, and one wire to return to the transformer to complete the circuit. Just as transformers have output voltage taps for the voltage delivery wire, they have a tap for the return wire to complete the circuit. This return tap is usually labeled COM, short for common, because it's a shared return tap that can be used by multiple wire runs from any of the output voltage taps. Larger transformers will usually have multiple COM taps. If you use a transformer with multiple COM taps, you should take care to balance the electrical load of your fixtures between the COM taps. For safety purposes, transformers come equipped with a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is basically just an on-off switch specifically designed to turn itself off in the event that more electricity flows than the transformer is rated to handle. When it's in the off position, the circuit is disconnected and no electricity can flow. The breaker situation can vary from transformer to transformer, and some will even have a dedicated breaker for each contact. Many transformers offer ways to automate control of your lighting system, such as timers and photocells. Some modern transformers double as smart controllers, with even more features for advanced automation and control. In summary, Landscape lighting transformers are devices that convert standard voltage down to the low voltage required for landscape lighting. They have at least one voltage output tap and at least one common return tap. They have overload protection, usually in the form of a circuit breaker, and they often allow for control and automation in the form of timers, photocells, or smart controls. For more videos like this one, visit landeffects.com slash powertips or check out the Land Effects phone app.